Hey everyone, so Google Sheets just dropped the um, new update, which was uh, over here, the drop down. Now you are allowed to select multiple options. This is so exciting. Um, now here's the thing. So I had this template ready and it was calculating the service. So for example, uh, here the person would choose, right? This is a nail tech appointments tracker. Uh, so then at the time of the booking, they could select only one uh, service. Now they can select multiples. And then I had this price over here, which uh, calculates the total of the service. But with the new update, now you can select multiple options, right? So this here was returning an error. So the way this will work going forward, anytime you want to sum the price, for example, in this case of each service, um, you can, you're gonna have to use a formula on a separate tab. Um, and the way I did it, so for example here, just so you can see the example, if I add gel full set, now the price is 165. If I add, you know, this, now it's two hundred dollars. So it keep adds, it keeps adding up. Um, so what I did was I created a separate tab called uh, Sum of Total Services, and then here I have uh, the list of all of the services that uh, are on my appointment tracker. So if you see here. This is referencing H5. If you go here, H5 is right, this one. Now, what happened here is it brings, anytime you reference the drop down cell now with the multiple options, it will separate them by commas. Um, so now, this is just a little tricky because now you have an extra step. So you have to split that and then you're able to get uh, each individual amount okay for each service in this case so what i did here i use this split formula in here now because there is if you see here there's comma space the service comma space the service right i had to use this split along with the substitute formula because I need to substitute the comma space by comma only, okay? And then it's going to give me, and then I can split using the comma as a delimiter for the split formula, if that makes sense, okay? So I did, and if error means if something, if it's not, um, if this is blank, it's going to return blank, okay? Be all I did was add a formula over here to sum all of the, the totals, okay? So here is my formula. Uh, first, I am looking up uh, the amount. So C1 all the way to B1, which means I gave like a lot of space in here. Uh, just in case they have extra services that they want added in there. Um, so C1B1, that's the first row over here that it's highlighted. And then raw data, I have all of my services uh, listed out on my raw data tab, which is a separate tab that I was using for something else. But I have all of the services listed over here. And then here I have all of the prices that come from this, okay? So I have all of the services in the, in the listing price in a format that's easier for whoever is setting up the spreadsheet so they can enter the amounts. But then I had to put them on a separate tab so I could have them listed like database uh, wise, okay? So I know this is a lot, it's one thing building up on another, but it works, trust me, it works, okay? So then here I am looking up all the amounts that are on the raw data, and then I am returning the, the price of that service, okay? Now here I am I'm going to use this function, the sum product, because I want every single one that is returning here 
So each one of these have their prices, right? And then what this does is just sums everything. So I have the $200 in here. Um, so if I go, if I go back to the appointment tracker and let's say I want to remove some stuff. Now, when you go here, you can see that the total now it's not 200, it's 120. So you can go ahead and use the formula. I hope it made sense for you. If not, just drop a comment below and I can record another video or go over this again. But, uh, this is how I found the easiest way that I found to work so I could have, you know, the total amount in here based on whatever they select and the multiple choice uh, drop down. I hope that helps. If you find an easier way to do this, let me know. Uh, but this is brand new. So I really wanted to use that in this appointment um, tracker. So uh, that was my way of making it work. Now, this is it for today. Thanks for watching.